box is one by one, right? You know that the area is one, right? What does this thing? So the area of this circle, right? If you take this whole area, the area is pi, right? Right? So this area is pi over four. So this circle has an area of pi over four. This area has, a, has an area of one, exactly one, right? You don't know what pi is. So what is pi? You don't know. So what you do is you say, generate random x. So you do x equals rand, well, one to zero. Y is equal to rand. So you pick your point, you pick a point, you pick a point, pick a point, pick a point, pick a point, pick a point right? And then you say, if x squared plus y squared is less than one, meaning that it's under this curve, you do i, uh, you do n plus one, uh, plus plus, right? So in other words, you figure out how many points you have within the shaded area, and then you also do the count plus plus to take the total of the points. Right? Guess what? The ratio of this over this is going to be exactly pi over 4. And then you can just subtract one by the other and you get this magic number which is 3.14 coming out, just out of the blue. And you were just throwing random numbers at it and suddenly it's, it's there. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's one of those cool results. But, but all, all it's doing is doing this kind of summation, except it's doing it randomly, poking it, poking this thing randomly. So anyways, next class, decision trees, and then we'll do major stuff. Yeah.